Students will learn about collection studies, understanding how collections have developed historically, in modern times and contemporary times. What we want to marry is kind of theory and practice on the course. We will be covering sort of philosophical areas as well as kind of practical areas. So there was a kind of academic side of kind of like the history and the more general ideas, but also I think it really encouraged you to work out what it was that you were personally interested in. Whether they be art or design, crafts, textiles, photography. Students will work in the exhibition studio with a dedicated team from Chelsea Space. The students will actually be hands-on working with me in Chelsea Space, which is a, a public gallery. People will already have on their CV when they leave that they have worked in a public space with a renowned exhibition history. One of the best things was the opportunity to actually put on an exhibition in the first place, but also to give me the confidence to kind of think around those ideas. We might work with a very high-end artist, someone like Richard Wilson, for example, who's been nominated for the Turner Prize twice. But then, for example, we followed our show with Richard Wilson with our current exhibition about Hatch Showprint, who are a, a Nashville letterpress. In the first term, students will work with the collections to understand the fundamentals of working around curating collections and displays. Because of the special collections at Chelsea, the fantastic collections of artist books, which are world class and multiples, we'll also be looking at some of that material. In the second term, the students will go on to start to look at collections across the university. So for instance, looking at the Stanley Kubrick archive. And in the third term, students will look at the international collections, which we're lucky enough to have situated here in London. We have Tate Britain located just next door to us here at Chelsea College, but also Tate Modern just across the river and museums such as the Victorian Albert Museum, the Science Museum, and the Natural History Museum. The expectation for our students is to work in the collections which are developing worldwide. Institutions such as banks or insurance companies are developing and displaying their collections. This burgeoning area across the world is the area in which our students will begin to work. <laughs>